I like this matchup a lot, and the only if like they're both free to like really scrap and trust their um, fast close interactions, because that's where I think the really interesting stuff happens. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, because like, when you're face to face with a fox like that, so, you know you can, like you can get out like a shine up the grab, or like they try and go for something for extend, you grab them out of it with some deck chase, or I see like wood. I think with like Jamu, Cody, and Collision, where he just crouches under the up smash and then kills him off the off of the grab. I'm like that's insane. Mm -hmm. But then you have stuff like that where she just gets shined off stage, and then you know gets shined again. And she dies. Like, that's yes. how, like, concise it can be in this matchup sometimes. Mmm, concise. Yeah, I really, I, I like that, because they're, like, these are punchy interactions um, that, that happen quickly. And with very small margins of error. Ooh! Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh, maybe he oh, cut off by uh, that, but no. Also, Ben tried to get the upbeat edge cancel on the Dreamland platform, you cheeky dog. Say, so try to be fancy. Really great yeah. recovery, but Smash Puppy not being faced. Yeah, and that's like seeing the new, seeing like the old guard just get used to seeing offsets like that. It's like kind of like things we just like see just become like a common thing now in melee. Like, you think back in the day how uncommon that was. So seeing yeah. Smash Puppy just be so accustomed to it is so cool too. We're, we're talking about him. I realize I started this, but we're talking about him like he's a dinosaur. <laughs> like, <laughs> he's, like, like, like he's a boomer in the wild. Yeah, yeah, like, like, oh, nice, you can keep up with the kids. Good nice. for you. Now we got you to bed, Grandpa. new options. Now, now, yes, yes. Eisenhower was a loon. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I remember when Tap got stuck in the tub. Yeah, I remember that story, too. All right. Hilarious yeah, Smash Poppy. <laughs> Ah, such times to celebrate because you are up a goddamn lot in winners finals. And I think on Dreamland too, it's I mean like it's a stage where you can um like really be using space, so it's not like this is a high variance uh like Yoshi style, you know? Yes. There's like, you know, because that's much more like you don't have much place to escape to from either end, so it's like you guys just run into the other person incredibly quickly. But Ben doesn't find the back air since it's only gets smashed by feet. More of a second chance to kind of end off this first game with a pretty strong start. But let's see what's the recovery. Great short. The Ben's running for it. Wow. Ben has got those beautiful back airs. That kind of looks like a Luigi situation with like the high back air, and right before you land, there's another back air. Another <laughs> oh, yeah, you throw one right out. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep playing Luigi's do that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my God. They're dancing. That is so scary. Ooh, Ben flips a little bit of platform movement, but can get out. Flips with the bear. Oh, how scary that he might turn that into an edge guard. Oh, he almost knocked the pack off stage. Yes, that's what he's looking for, right? He's like trying to needle and then put enough shield uh, stun, but Smash Poppy is still dying in, not getting knocked off. Mm -hmm. And that's easy tech. platform tech chase from. Uh... From Smash Poppy. Not giving Ben too much of a chance because if he falls off stage, that could have been easily a last stock game. But Smash Poppy gonna take that one pretty good on Dreamland. So let's see what the counter pick is from Ben's side of the things. It's also like I didn't see Smash Poppy really get grabbed at all, I feel like either. Throughout yeah, the game. It, it was just like Smash Poppy was absolutely, I think, running around Ben. Mm -hmm. I think adding some variance in the form of Fountain of Dreams is probably due. Mm. Uh field is interesting to me. You don't really get a lot more. Okay, actually. Okay, I, I do. I think the platform heights do give you um, a pretty good like way out um, mm -hmm. as a like. I you suppose can, to dream you can play that on yeah. neutral on Dreamland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So on like, Dreamland, you're not really boarding the platforms as a neutral like spacing option. Yeah, they're, they're much higher there, so it's kind of tricky to get up to them so quickly. Whereas here, it's kind of like that's like Sheik's like kind of comfort zone. So you got to go up and down between them. You can do run off mm -hmm. whatever you need to off of them. And you'll see, it it's better off street also recover too if you want to fix up your recovery at all. That's more something like, like slower matchup, but it definitely is more of a viable option compared to. Yeah, 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 it's 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 not nothing. That's another option. Yeah. Um, so I, I do think that makes sense. Uh, however, I do think we're gonna have to see Ben um, adapt a little bit to yeah at these short mid ranges. Um, what is he doing? I really love that. I think like uh, Battlefield is allowing him to do that drop down needle grab, but um, you know he's gonna need to find those openings specifically um and you know when he gets them like you were saying when he gets a grab it's, it's gotta be impactful it's gotta mean something you know oh no oh, no, no big uh oh it's gonna honor. That's, honor. Yeah, that, that's a hobby thing. That's i love honor. that mm -hmm. oh usually it's good to go like so gung-ho with that oh is that another one we hit do it again there 
go. And now, Ben, yeah, now he's finding situation where, hey, I can get it. These things matter. I get a grab or some kind of thing there. I'll just lead to something else afterwards. I'll kind of finish, finish the food. Yes. Now it's like a situation where he's not getting blown as much because, you know, Smash was running around there with so much space. Now he's like, all right, you're going to approach me. I'm going to punish you by getting a grab. And now what's the next mm. one? He's looking this is really good so far. Yep, now he has a knockout. Mm -hmm. Oh, huge. Absolutely huge. Even if you die here, I mean, like... Yeah, but you're not going to Ben getting his footing back after a little bit of uh, I, I think getting some of the execution back after being cooled off in winners um, is is he's gonna give away fewer freebies, right? Like yeah. he doesn't want to be rolling from the ledge transform. Yeah, he doesn't want to get caught like slipping. All of a sudden, he gets up buried and dies for it. Oh, oh my God! I thought for a second he was gonna get burned by that, but just misses it. Ooh. There's the grab. That was brilliant Crazy. off of that. Boost grab, hard read right there, Stelios. That was a hard call out on that. But that doesn't really lead to much afterwards. But there's a dash attack. Yep, no tech call out. And just getting more percent on him at the very least for a cheeky needle. Uh, what, dude? Ben goes for a rising reverse fair. Pretty baller, but doesn't quite work out. Uh, I mean, when you're up 3-1, you might as well go for it, you know? But it's it's cool. Don't like, only like get, like get to your head too much. Everyone it's has cool. their cool stuff. Honestly, it, I thought it was good. I probably would have tried to do something similar. Everyone tries something out there. But hey, we're all human. Ooh, oh, down here. I like the pop ben, up at least. Ben is, uh, is, is afforded the ability to be greedy like that with the extra <laughs> stock lead. So it just makes yeah. it a little bit more uh, difficult for Smash Poppy to be dealing with also those uh, like less predictable reactions. Mm -hmm. Oh, really good timing on the up B as well. Yeah, I went for some there. Oh, dash again. Just keeping Ben on in the corner. Right and today, get calls up. Yep, calls it out. And now Smash will be running his back from a pretty solid depth. But oh, there's there's the drop zone or drop fair. You think and you can still ben do getting it? on the board? Yeah, he, look there. If there was there there was a chance there, but Ben's like, okay, nope, you had your time. Again, okay, I'll give, give me take me take another one. Whew. Wow, that but... was um some I think some really nice uh like boundary setting from Ben. Mm -hmm. You know, I I think that he did a lot better um, being tricky and moving around that mid short range uh, that smash poppy brought to him a lot better um yes. establishing like the range where he can get a hard hit of fair a hard hit of back air um and, and then not have to get like cc shined or down tilted or whatever mm -hmm. that's that. kind of continuing right now too jorge because like you know he gets out he got a drill right there and turned into a stock off of that all vesti out of drill he didn't really take anything afterwards and then just finished the stocks just looking really like much more competent in like these scrappy situations. Okay, you're gonna hit me with drill, I'm out of it, and all of a sudden you're pretty much dead from that. So Fred yes. Dursky was just a lot of so I'm gonna run around you, hit you, and all of a sudden she goes off stage. Now we're just seeing Ben just, you know, kinda of, kinda of rack this kind of play and just shoot mm -hmm. him rack up stuff. He talks in a pretty good oh. position for Ben to just keep following things up, but wait, Smash Bros. might turn it around. Oh dude, that's actually a that is a J move. I know I, a lot of the Sheik things are the J move now, but that is he mm -hmm. vanished right to the edge of the stage, so he, it sometimes pushes your opponent off. It yes. pushes your opponent's ECB off the stage, like if you land right next to them. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then they make, they make them grab ledge, basically? Or it's like, can they go off your stage? just falls off. Yeah, yeah they just they fall just off fall stage, off. not ready for Instead it. Instead of being able to punish you. Wow! <laughs> Great diamond cutter. Dude, I'm still into different up smash. That's the yeah. only stuff that works out, I guess. That's some beautiful stuff. Hit him with the uh, DDP while we're at it. Oh. Get some more opportunities for Ben. Mm, little dash dance grab tech chase. And this is a big percent. Yeah, this is big if you're Ben. Similar story is kind of like the last game where Ben's guys just gets a really quick lead. And just giving you rack up percent in the meantime as well. Smash is trying to find some kind of opening that leads to like a counter for Sheik. This might be it. Oh, went for another up smash, but no, just misses the uh, spacing oh. on it. Oh. oh, smash. There it is. I like the wait. Very good patience there for Smash. Don't be on the tech. Yeah, Smash Poppy keeping that going over and over, not like ever, ever overextending in that little string, right? Like he just waited for the next option to happen and then would, because he kept his strong position, could capitalize on the next thing. Fewer, um, or like lower amplitude of punish, but higher likelihood. 
And, uh, you know, that's a little bit of the same premise with the Sheik down for a tech. Yeah. It's like you're, you're getting so much off of that with the mileage for Ben. For I think by both this game and the last game, you saw how much he got out of it. Yeah, that should be a dead fox, and it is. So Ben's keeping around that momentum. And, yeah, not really giving Smash Up you know, more of a chance compared to the last game. And, yeah, like it's just everything just looks really clean. Uh, tech chases are given, like, at least, like, 40 to 60%, I feel like. And a lot of these tilt combos you're adding up. We're seeing mm -hmm. these up smash versions as well just kind of popping out in full force as well. So Ben's, like, overall um execution and punish has been a lot more strong since that first game where smash was kind of like you know Agreed. he's fine situations where he's strong as these options but ben just seems you know primed and ready i'm gonna grab you for like drill or like i'm gonna just crouch cancel a hit and here's another one he's going for a shot and gets grabbed out of it and not quite a big of a follow-up it's still like a solid start and like, no one gets to like, get a quick one more of a stalemate yep. first first half of the game they're, they're still i think they're tripping over each other a little bit like no one is exactly uh hitting the other but they're definitely glancing each other um, and so uh, I think, like, that is a testament to how important... Wow, that was a sick-ass up air. Uh, yep. That is a testament to how important it is for Sheik to maintain that, like, very specific range. Ooh. Okay. Uh, she has to be able to, like, short hop... Or she has to be able to strong hit back air. She has to be able to, like... Um, like far distance forward air. Or, like, if she's really close, be able to shield grab something. Yes. Um, like, those are the ways that Ben is getting his openings because otherwise, like, he's dash attacking in and getting with punish. Yes. And, and uh, you know, Akira is just, like, running away with it, you know? Yeah, I was just like, all right, you're going to do that on my shield. Shine out a shield, wave shine, up smash. Mm -hmm. yeah, I percent. Okay, you're going to do that instead. I'll just, I'll just grab you out of it and I'll like, throw whatever at you. So it's like, you know. <laughs> Especially if you're not in the knockdown area, which you do, you won't see Sheik like Benji with that or something like that. I mean, that's where she leads those big hiccups that she clears make it at a mid, low to mid level. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. you know, the Nair, good light show from the uh, Smash Pop get out of that at least. Now it's kind of like, you now we're seeing Spider have more of the solid lead in this one too. So now, kind of putting some more things together as Ben just tries to find that one good hit. And just wouldn't do it, just hold the ledge. All right, there well, we go, finally. But yeah, what I, what I think is changing is like the. Uh, the ways in which Smash Poppy is trying to get really into Sheik, you know? Um, we're seeing him, like, try to bait out opportunities to get underneath her, and, like, the shuffled, like, uh, shuffled nares or, like, running shines or something is his way to get in, but when Ben is getting, uh, like, winning in that little exchange, um, he's getting just a little bit more off of it. I think it's built in uh, to the pet case. Yes, it's just like it's so programmed into you at that point. It's like, I need to do this so I can just get like my big percent off of whatever I'm going to do. But now we have, I've only seen like a couple of grabs for the other ones, but those, those get the dash attack up smash. Wow. Least. That puts Ben back on the board. So not a worst step. You know, smash just seems more like ready for what Ben has. Hasn't really been falling uh, victim to some of the stuff we saw in the last two games. Yeah, and, and what I think that is, is like, look at that mid range. Like, you yeah. can just be there. He's, smash Poppy is recognizing very much what she can f tilt and being right outside of that um and so like really uh, because fox is so fast like smash poppy is threatening so much while committing so little and you know what actually gave him a lot of mileage in that last lock was like those weak hit nares which is like sent Sheik further away he like did mm -hmm. a lot of those like both on stage and off because Sheik's recovery not the greatest especially when you're, when you're that far away so it's like all right just keep popping you out with these weak hit nares if you drift too far away at a weird angle like, i'm just gonna hold ledge now and he also did that on stage get some quick percent and let's really good stuff so i do like that little bit of mix up with the like nair slash weak hit nair so mm -hmm. really nice stuff mm -hmm. the yeah the punish was like <clears throat> When, when I'm looking at the punishes, it does look very much like, um, especially when Fox is in those mid percents, um, it does it does seem like Sheik is getting a little bit of the easier time. Um, it feels <laughs> yeah. like Smash Poppy's got to be a little bit more creative and do do stuff that is uh, technically demanding or um, has those mix-ups involved in order to like take it that far. And he yes. Is. Yes, exactly. And it's working. It worked pretty well for him there. Now we're on found, so Sheik has Flatmark back. And there is the Diamond Cutter. Great tech it, it, got that. At every Sheik picks Fountain of Dreams thinking that that's going to happen like three times a game. Right? <laughs> that, that you're going to get the up smash read and you're going to get the tipper and you never get to do something cool like that. And if he's actually <laughs> sacrificing the stop hit, it is an absolute chad recognizing Sheesh. that he has a stock up. And if they both trade right here, it's better for him. And it looks swag while doing it. Mm -hmm. That is like a insane start for Ben. And Smash actually might even this up right now. I haven't taken no percent just yet. Racking up 
so much more percent on Ben. Okay, gets off a tilt. Not the worst against these Fox. Zero percent. He's fine. Ooh, Drill. Oh, SCI is oh, out. Is it turn around? Oh my god. Smash What's happening, Jorge? True confirm. Oh, this is so crucial. It's game five. And if he just can't close this out, is this it? Oh, the forward air is so sad. Really, ooh, yep. okay. really nice right. refresh from Smash Poppy. A lot good. of players will get poofed right there, but Smash Poppy with a really nice and precise timing to get in between them. Mm -hmm. The hitboxes. Mm -hmm. Now Smash, Smash are getting stuffed a little bit by Ben with these uh these shines getting caught, but trying to find some kind of hit for Ben, but not quite finding anything yet. Dancing in the corner a little bit. Oh, another grab. So oh, the last talk can find another side B. Yeah, early side B. Oh. oh, huge forward air. Is this an edge guard? Smash Poppy does not oh, it doesn't hit even, Yeah, it doesn't even go up. Misses it. Oh. And then just goes down. And then Ben's swinging this game back into his favor. What Smash Poppy's answer to that? Because he's got to find something quick before he either Ben gets a grab or just takes too much percent. He's got to pull some discipline out from deep underneath him. Because Oh, wow. Really nice transition from Ben to go back into that light shield. Okay, 42% is not what you love. But yeah, uh, for it's, either player. That's sake, because Ben, it's like, okay, he's, he's in knockdown, but also, like, if he just shines me or gets gets him something on me, it can be scary. He's in the corner. Nice if you're chic. Oh, tech chase. He, he, no. the, the platform is actually messing everything up. <gasps> Crouch cancel grab. This is huge. Big tech chase. He just walks up. Jay walks. That should be it. Yeah. Really clutch timing, not messing up the bread and butter combo when it counts. Ben takes it, game five over Smash Poppy. And that's the one he was looking forward to. And now he, has, now he doesn't have to worry about Moff either, because if Moff wins the next set, it would have been potentially Ben versus Moff. But instead, Moff keep looking at a run back if they can get past Agent, but we've seen how Agent's been playing today. He has that kind of movement against Ice Climbers. It can be very, very scary to find something from that. Yes, but, I think whew, also scary. Also scary for Ben. <laughs> yeah. You know, just always thinking about it through through the number one seed's eyes. You know, a win for Ben over Smash Poppy right now sends Smash Poppy down into losers where he could potentially be eliminating Moth um giving ben more chances to avoid her and um and so the winner of that set was ben but the real winner of that set was also 